Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm going to do a video that's started by Nikki Tutorials, and it's called Power of Makeup. Um, I feel like a lot of people have so many opinions on makeup that, oh, well, if you wear too much makeup, you're doing it for other people, or, oh, you're not happy with yourself, and, oh, by the way, I have one eyebrow on and one not, um, and I'm getting to the reason why. But anyways, a lot of times, people just look down on makeup, especially men. Well, like... I feel like if you wear a lot of makeup, you don't love yourself. Nah, boo, I do not paint my my eyeshadow gold lids and red lips for you. I do it for myself. I feel like makeup is a, a passion. Makeup is an expression of creativity for people. It's like an outlet. You know, people go and paint. People may sew or whatever people's hobbies are. But makeup is a passion. Makeup is an outlet of yourself. You know, it's an expression of yourself. Um, so, yeah, so this video... Um, started by Naked Tutorials. It's going to be power makeup. So this side I'm going to do, I'm going to put makeup on, regular contour, all that good stuff. And this side is going to be no makeup. It's going to be really, really weird to see. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and jump on in. So I am going to prime my eye. No, I was going to say eyes, but I'm really just priming my eye because I'm only doing just a little bit of it. Um, yeah, I feel like this video is going to be super, super interesting. So I'm still working on my setup. I really, really need to um, really, really fix my setup. I'm just setting my primer now. That way my eyeshadow is not all crazy. But I really, really need to work on my setup. I feel like, yeah, I just need to work on my setup um, in my room just so it makes life a little bit easier for me but uh we'll get into that a little bit later so i'm using the anastasia beverly hills um eyeshadow palette and honestly no, i wouldn't say i'm doing a basic look oh my i was getting ready to do my other eye but eyeshadow definitely can help i mean some people have hooded eyes some people have round eyes some people have eyes that they, you know, if you want to do smoky eye, your eyes going to look a little bit more closed in. If you want to do an eyeshadow look that makes your eyes look brighter, you can do that as well. My friend Chelsea is downstairs waiting for me. But I knew this video wasn't going to take long. So, yeah, I feel like this was a, a really, really good makeup. Um video to do to be honest because so many people nowadays just have such a strong opinion about makeup now listen when I was younger my makeup was straight rash y'all but now I mean makeup's evolved we actually have contour and highlights and everything else back then people did not have that and I don't know if y'all have ever noticed, but I do a lot with my fingers. I just feel like using your fingers, using your nails are so much easier. So I'm just going to clean up this just a little bit. But yeah, I really need to work on my setup. It would just make filming so much easier in so many aspects. But, um, so yeah, so we did the eyes first. I'm priming my face with just Benefits Primer. Okay. And now... We're gonna do foundation, but we're literally only going to do um, half the face. So, yeah, bear with me. I just got my nails done too, so I hope. And I mean, when I say just got them done, y'all, I mean like not even an hour ago I finished. So, really, really hoping that this doesn't mess like up my nails completely. You know when that'll happen. So I mix Max Studio Fix Fluid and Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Now we're just going to blend that in. I almost like didn't want to wear this dress because I feel like this dress is really really good for like the holidays. Like I could have done a holiday look with it but that's okay. Hopefully within the next couple months too I'm going to be working on my backdrop as well. Okay so foundation is done. Um, and really foundation is important. I mean, foundation matte can help like mask your imperfections. 
if you're like me and you have freckles and you don't like them, it can help that. I mean, it can help a lot of different things. It can help acne, rosacea, eczema. It can help anything. For me, though, I like a full coverage foundation. I don't care if people want to talk smack. I don't care. Just because I've always been really insecure about my freckles um, ever since I was little. If you know me really, really well personally, you will know that. Um, it's just something I've always been really insecure about. So, foundation is a must for me. It just is. So, for concealer, I use the um, under, I mean, the It Cosmetics Under Eye Bye Bye Concealer. Uh, I actually got it in a Sephora Play Box. So, I just figured I will use it. It's actually really, really great. It's super, super full coverage, which is what I like. And see, some girls, when they wear makeup, you know, they just do it basic. Me, uh, I go all out. I don't go out all the time, though. Honey, I ain't waking up, going to the post office, wearing makeup. I ain't waking up, going to Walmart, <sighs> wearing makeup. That's just not me. But when I slay, I slay. You got to. Now I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. This is just for more coverage. And see, a lot of girls, you know, they're like, well, I don't want too full coverage. So I'm kind of the opposite. I want everything to look seamless and flawless. You know, since I do have freckles, it's not like my skin is just, looks like, like I have clear skin, but it's not like it just looks always natural and pure because I do have freckles. So it kind of, and I don't mean this in a weird way, but it kind of, Sometimes it's just like, wow, her face doesn't look good because that's just how I feel because I have freckles. But I could I could be crazy. Actually, I am crazy. So now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour. Contour, if you want to chisel your face or if you have a round face like me or if you want to just look sleek. It's just more of a sleeker look um, than you want to contour your face. I really, like, don't know what we all did back in the day without contour. I really don't. Like, thinking back to what I used to do and looking back on it, it's just crazy to me. It really is. So, praise God for makeup. Seriously, though. So thankful for it. And, I mean, I'm not the type of girl that thinks everybody needs makeup and should wear it. But I think if you want to look nice sometimes, like I'll see some girls that I think are so naturally pretty, but they're like literally like there's nothing on their face ever, like ever. And it could be at a nice event. And it's like just being nice. I feel like if they just would maybe dress up a little bit, but that could be just my opinion. So I use the NARS Torque Blush um, as well. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot a highlighter. Just kidding. I'm going to do MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm actually almost out of this, which is kind of depressing, to be honest. Black Friday's coming up, y'all, and um, you already know with these sales. Sephora's actually having, like, a VIB sale, too, um, this weekend, actually. So that would be nice just because you can, if you really want to stack on makeup, that's when you do it. And I also have a super, super large forehead. So therefore, someone like me, I'm 1,000% going to contour and highlight. I mean, highlight, though, a lot of girls will put highlight up on their forehead. I never do that, ever. You want to know why I never do that? Because if you highlight your forehead, it makes your forehead accentuate, makes it look bigger. All right, so I'm actually going to go put eyeliner on and eyelashes and come back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I mean, this looks, it looks crazy. I mean, makeup can truly transform your face. I really think brows are essential. Eyelashes are huge. My lash glue is still drying. Um,
Alright, so I just used the NARS Bahama Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And this is the final look. Um, so, the power of makeup can just really, really transform a face. Um, I don't know if you guys can see very well, but... So this is the final look. Um, the whole point of this video is just for women to just be themselves and just if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If you don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. If you want to do a smoky eye, do it. You know, I mean, express yourself. Who cares what other people think? Um, if you want to paint your eyebrows purple, paint your eyebrows purple, girl. That's just what we do as women. I mean, we're women. We are. We're beautiful. You know. So I just feel like everybody should embrace their beauty, whether it's with makeup or with not. But. The power of makeup, though, I, this whole video I just think is amazing. I was so curious to see what it would look like. So, I mean, this is me, normal, and this is me with makeup. It looks so weird, though, but it just goes to show how how much makeup can really, really empower you and just transform you. So, comment below on other videos you guys want to see. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, and, yeah, I just hope you guys have a great day and I'll probably put out two or three more videos before Thanksgiving. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe.